hello friends welcome to our channel and in this video we will discuss about how to make the mark sheet by using the excel and its simple formula we have the different data which includes the roll number column and we have the name of the student column and we have the marks column which includes the subject and its total marks we need to find the total of the marks second we need to find the average of each student's marks we need to assign the grade according to the average and in the last we will declare results of pass and fail for the grade we have the criteria as well which we need to follow regarding the marks or regarding the average so we go on the mark sheet first we find the total so we use the equals to sum sum bracket open and after opening the bracket we need to select the whole row which we need to find the total close the bracket and press enter this is how we can get the find by using the sum function now we only simply need to drag it down to apply the same formula instead of continuously typing the sum formula in the similar way if we need to find the average we use the same equals to average formula bracket open in the average it says raw so we select the marks of the student close the bracket and enter this is how we get the average as well now we only need to drag it down to apply the same average formula and you can see here we got the values with the decimal if we need to run off or if we need to run up the marks so we only need to add the formula round up bracket open and in the number we already use the average then comma in the digits we write zero because we don't need any decimal and enter so we got the round up now we only need to drag it down so we get the value of all the rounds now we need to assign the grades by using the or by taking the averages we have the grade criteria as well which we need to follow to use or to assign the grade functions we use equals to we look up function bracket open in the bracket first it says look up value which means which value it wants to look so we need to select the average but we are unable to select it by clicking the cell so we can use the reference number so we give the reference l column 3 raw so you can see here it highlight the average cell comma it says table array we go here in the criteria and select the whole table for the criteria then comma and after the comma it says column and our grade is in the second column so we write two then comma and one for the criteria and close the bracket but before click closing or before entering we select the whole table array and press f4 to make it constant we can test the formula or we can cross check like 82 person will get b grade and similar is mentioned in the criteria like person gets 80 plus will assign b grade and you can see here the marks now we only need to drag the same formula to apply the grade function to all and you can see here a person got less than 60 and assign f grade and similarly it is mentioned here in the criteria now we need to assign the result and in the result function we use equals to if formula bracket open now we use the lookup or logical test like if the average cell which is l3 gets greater than 60 or we can 
we can make it practical by using the 59th mark like if the person gets 60 so he will be passed so we use 59 marks if the person got 60 59 marks he will assign pass grade inverted comma close comma else it will give or he will give fail inverted comma close bracket and enter now you can see here person got 82 marks so he will assign pass now we only need to drag it down to apply the same formula and you can see here a person got 59 so he will assign the fail now we can test our formula by changing the values so you can see here it automatically converted into fail we can test by changing the values so you can see the reflection of each grade or each result now if I change the value here and make it so you can see the status of the grade and the result as well now we need to use the conditional formatting like if the person get passed so it will color in green so we only go here in the home tab and here you can see the conditional formatting in the formatting here new rule option and the, in the new rule you can see the box in the box we need to select the second option which is format only cells that contain and here in this option we need to select the specific text and in the specific text first we write here pass because we need to color the text which is pass after typing the text we need to go here in the format to change the color of our own desire and in the box you can see here different options and in the options we go here in the fill tab and in the fill tab you can select the color of your own choice and I select the green color and you can see the color in the blue as well as a sample press ok again press ok and you can see the reflection this is how we can get the pass we again use the similar technique select the whole column go here in the conditional formatting select new rule in the new rule select the second option format only cell go here in the specific text and in the text we use or we type fail select the color from the format and I'll use similar to the red color but not much more red or orange like press ok again ok now press ok and you can see this reflection this is how we can use the conditional formatting now we only need to test our formula like you can see here as per the marks the person will assign grade and as per the grades he will assign the or it will reflect the color if the person get pass status it will show in green and the fail will show in the orange this is how you can create a mark sheet in access